CataractCoach.com. Tripan blue dye can go behind the lens capsule. Usually it's designed for weakness that allows the dye to enter the vitreous cavity. Here's a patient. Looks like a traumatic cataract, although the patient doesn't report trauma. Young patient, unilateral cataract. In an eye with prior amblyopia, so there's a air bubble and just a little bit of tripan blue dye, not a whole lot. So a very conservative amount. Now you can dilute that down with some BSS or some maybe some anesthetic solution. And that was a very modest amount of tripan blue dye here. But yet, in this case, it went behind the lens into the vitreous cavity. And you'll notice, as we do the case here, there's going to be no red reflex. Now, look at the, th the, the three light reflex on the cornea there. You can see there is definitely coaxial lighting. And now there's a little bit of a red reflex, but not a whole lot. See, now the, the corneal light reflex is just two lights. That means only coaxial. Now this is three lights. That's coaxial plus paraxial. Now, using these micro forceps, getting a rex is done. And that looks pretty good. And again, not a real dense lens. It's going to be relatively easy to just aspirate this lens, probably. I'm watching the video for the first time with you. But I want to emphasize this point. We've had actually multiple video submissions from surgeons around the world showing us that, yeah, in certain cases, you can get tripan blue dye going behind the lens and going into the vitreous, causing you to lose your view. If you have that blue dye in the anterior hyaluronic base and burger space, then you will lose your red reflex and it becomes very challenging to accomplish the rest of the case here. So now the surgeon made the main incision and now using regular forceps to get the rexus completed. Another pair of these is probably for a bimanual IA later. And let's see what we're going to do here to get that lens up. So let me, a little hydro dissection. You can even visco dissect here if you want to have an extra little barrier there. Using a dispersive agent to visco dissect may be helpful too. And now, yeah, no phaco probe needed, soft lens, just a bimanual IA, removing all this lens material. Again, the video has been sped up just so we can be efficient here in our learning. And again, where's the red reflex? Again, no red reflex. So it makes the surgery a lot tougher. Now I understand why some surgeons, especially in a trauma case, avoid injecting a lot of tripan blue dye in the eye. Instead, they use a bubble and they'll just paint a little tiny bit. Now, that's still no guarantee. You can see in this case, our guest surgeon did a beautiful job of using a bubble in the tripan blue dye syringe. So first the bubble went on the eye, and then just the bare minimum amount of blue dye went after. That bubble obviously helps minimize the amount of dye you need. Now switching hands for the rest of the cortex removal. And again, really not much of a red reflex. You have a blue reflex because the light that's coming at you is going through the blue dye that's in the anterior hyaloid face in burger space, or maybe in staying the back side of the lens capsule. Now, do you have to do anything for this? You know, you don't. Finish up the case here. The blue dye is going to go away. It'll be a couple of days, maybe. Patient will be just fine. So you don't have to worry about it. You can just finish your case here, get the lens in the bag, and complete things. But the tough part is, as a surgeon, you have less of a view, so it's a little more challenging in that regard. So there's that viscoelastic. Again, a blue reflex, not a red reflex here. So... You guys remember the case I had before of the green reflex? And everyone's wondering, why is it so green? Well, no, it wasn't ICG dye. It was a canine cataract. Look back on cataractcoach.com, search for the, the word canine, and you'll see we, did a, we showed a veterinary ophthalmologist doing a beautiful canine surgery. So here, slightly enlarging up the incision. Let's see what kind of lens we're going to put inside this eye. I'm guessing a monofocal given the history of uh, this type of cataract and also that the patient's a bit amblyopic in this eye per history. And there it is, monofocal lens, get that in the bag, and that should open up. Wow, pretty small eye. Look how that six millimeter optic looks positively large in this eye. So now you can vacuum out all the viscoelastic. Again, the blue dye is going to be a little persistent for a few days. Patient may have a blue tinge of the vision for a while. That's okay. Just be patient, and it'll be fine. So now you know, yes, you can actually, in certain cases, have tripan blue dye go behind the lens into burger space, stain the posterior surface of the, of the lens capsule, or even just sit there in the anterior hyaluronic face and you will lose your red reflex. So be cautious in these cases. Thanks for watching.